Hi everybody, so I'm here today to give you a perfume review and that is on Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradis. This is a 200ml bottle and I have split this bottle so that's all I have left but it's probably still almost 50% there so you know I'll get over it. Anyway, shall we start with the review? So, um, I've already got some here that I sprayed about an hour ago and I'm just going to refresh in my memory now over here with a couple of sprays. Oh, wow. So, even in the air, this is zesty oranges and grapefruit smell. So, pomelo is a variation of a grapefruit but sweeter and less tart, less bitter. Um, I've never met a real pomelo in real life. Maybe one day I will, and that will be exciting. So all I can compare it to is grapefruit. And this is like the rind of oranges and grapefruits. If you squeeze them and the, the juice spurts out, but you haven't actually broken the rind, it's the juice that comes out of the rind. And it's so bright and fresh and zesty but that's what you're expecting isn't it I'm not telling you anything you don't already know to expect from a fragrance called Pomelo Paradis so the way it feels to me is like a hyper realistic juicing experience like when you put the juices through your juicer and you smell all the everything you know you haven't taken the rind off you've got everything going on you've got the flesh and the juices and the pith and the rind and it's all whoo, filling up the whole room with just this pure, fresh, revitalizing, zingy zestiness. That is what you get in the opening, but don't expect it to stay like that. So, anyway, the way this smells at the moment, brand new, is like the most freshest experience ever. This is a fragrance that will kick you out of bed. This will get the laziest mofo out of his pit. I reckon I could get Mr. Smelly out of his bed with this one and that is really saying something. So anyway, that's what you get in the opening. That's all I notice in the opening. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the notes are because actually I don't know. Um, I've read them once or twice in the past. I can't remember. The obvious one being Pomelo. Pretty sure there's some vetiver and I think there might be rose but I don't want to tell you that I smell the rose and I smell the vetiver because that's boring. I want to tell you what I really actually genuinely smell and most definitely mostly get that juicy fruit thing. Anyway, after about 15 to 20 minutes it does start to change. It becomes less tart and it gets a little bit sweet, you get a little bit of sweetness coming through and then it's a bit sparkly, like someone's added a little dash of champagne and who doesn't love a dash of champagne? Oh, so good, so good. So, um, it smooths out a little bit, so it's not quite so uh, tart and fresh. It's still fresh, but it's not bitter and tart like it is in the opening. So over here, as I say, I think it's about an hour since I sprayed this one. Um, so yeah, after that 20 minutes or so, it becomes almost like an orange and grapefruit juice. You know when you buy juice, it's got no bits in it. It's really smooth. That's what you're getting at that point. It's really, really smooth. And then it, gen <laughs> it gently and slowly and almost painfully gets a little bit sweeter and smoother and really, 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 really slowly and just really undulating kind of uh, journey that the fragrance takes you on is very, um, very much making things a bit smoother. And then, kind of um, after that sort of hour or so is up, so here we are over here, 
with the hour being up, I smell a really gentle velvet vanilla, a really light, sweet, but barely there vanilla creeps in. And I don't think vanilla is actually mentioned in the notes, but that's how it feels to me. It feels like there is just the tiniest hint of vanilla. And you can still smell the grapefruit and the oranges, um, but they just, everything is just so much smoother and sweeter, much less fresh, much less tart. And it kind of then just gently smooths its way along its fragrance journey on your skin. And it's about the three and a half to four hour mark in that I fall head over heels in love with this fragrance. So the first four hours are probably a little bit unremarkable. There's many a great citrus fragrance out there. We all know that thousands and thousands and thousands of amazing citrus fragrances, but they, some of them fall a bit flat and they smell like everyone else and they're not that amazing, not that exciting. What happens to Pamela Paradis to me on my skin at about the four hour mark is it becomes almost a gourmand. I say almost because it's not a gourmand like there's a ton of vanilla, there's no chocolate, there's no uh, cream, there's nothing um, obviously gourmand apart from the way that the pomelo intermingles with this van vanilla that I perceive. So as I say, I don't think vanilla is listed, but I really do feel like vanilla is there. And I mean, it's amazing now actually, and we are only an hour in on that hand, but it's four hours in. So I had some on today on one of my arms, and then I caught a whiff of it after the four hour mark and my heart skipped a little beat. That's how much I really love it at four hours and after. So if you see this one in the shops and you think, oh, I'll give it a quick sniff, sniff it on a bit of card and then forget about it. That's not the way to go about it. That's what I did many a many a time. And it's only because I got a sample that I finally gave it a proper testing and kind of put it on and then just forgot about it, dismissed it. But then I kept getting this wafts after four hours. I kept getting these little wafts of something that I utterly I utterly adored. So, what happens at four hours? Well, I think what it is, is that sweetness of the vanilla and the deliciousness of the pomelo and the oranges, and there's other things, as I say, there is rose and vetiver and there are other notes listed, but whatever the hell they are, I don't care, they kind of come together and they go uh, soft and fuzzy, almost musky. Now I don't know if musk is in there. Most fragrances have a touch of musk regardless, I think, as a fixative. And it wouldn't surprise me if perhaps there's a, a couple of synthetic, cleaner, kind of white musk type things going on in there that just make it um, soft and fuzzy and delectable. So to me this in a way, Pomelo Paradis is a gourmand hybrid with a fresh citrus fragrance. Just slightly crosses that threshold. Um, just te teeters on the edge, shall we say. So, um, long and the short of it is, yes, I love it. I absolutely love it. It is a discovery to me, fairly recent, but I feel like I always want it in my life. That's how strong I feel about this fragrance. Now, let's talk about longevity. You're gonna be surprised because I was surprised. I had some on my skin last night. When did I put it on? Half eight? Put it on half eight on my arm last night and I went to bed. Uh, about 11, half 11, something like that. And I got up this morning at eight. And I thought, oh, it's not gonna be there, but let's just try, shall we? So I sniffed my arm. And guess what? It was still there, I promise you. I swear on my life, I swear on Sweetie's life, that perfume was still on my skin. Okay, it was a skin scent, absolutely not anything more than that. You had to 
really sniff your arm to find it, but it was still there. So this stuff clings to your skin. Do not be put off. Loads of people say, oh, it only lasts three hours on me, it only lasts two hours on me. Um, I do have very good skin. It does retain perfume better than quite a lot of other people. So um, there is that. But all I would say is, if you are prone not to have fragrances sticking to your skin, this is a great one for like popping on your clothes. And I do spray a lot. So, um, you know, I think seven, uh, seven sprays minimum up to 12. That's what I would do with this one because it is a citrus and lighter and it's a, a cologne or cologne variation, a cologne absolute. So it's not as strong as your EDTs and your EDPs, but actually on my skin, it does really cling to it. Um, I would say for real life situations, I would wear this for about eight hours before reapplying. And as I say, it's the four hour mark in that I love so much that I wouldn't want to reapply it until I, it had pretty much died because I love it. And once you reach that four hour mark, it doesn't really change much. It just stays beautifully gorgeous until the end. Now I'm not gonna say bitter end because the end is not bitter. It's sweet and it's soft and it's fuzzy and it's lovely. It goes almost kind of peachy and honeyed and even though I don't really like peach, as a fragrance or in a fragrance something just slightly peachy about this that's really really lovely I do think that after that four hour mark it does lean a little bit feminine um for the first four hours just a really good fresh citrus grapefruit fragrance but once you get to the four hour mark in it starts to feel more feminine because it gets sweeter and softer perhaps a rose comes into play at that point maybe I'm not sure but it does feel a bit feminine to me at that point don't let that put you off I think anyone can wear it of course you know I believe that anyone can wear whatever the fuck they want but uh, if you are a bit afraid of something that might lean feminine then you might not enjoy this one so um, in terms of projection uh, only sort of after the first hour, ooh, I'm getting all dizzy, after the first hour projects about that far from your skin and then it just slowly, 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 slowly softens up but until eight hours you get in some form of projection or certainly I do. As I say, definitely chuck some on your clothes as well, you can't go wrong. So, um, Pamela Paradis, thumbs up. I'm giving it 10 out of 10, that's how much I love it. I really genuinely always want it in my life. Sorry this went on far too long, it was supposed to be quick and it's not. So um, just give me a thumbs down, unsubscribe and if you're going to comment, make it something unkind. You know I'm only kidding. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, I'll see you in a Smurfy and Smelly chat. We're going to record that probably tonight or tomorrow. Myself and Mr Smelly, got lots to talk about so catch you all later.